Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind, back again with another book review. It's been a while, um, I've been reading Twilight. Uh, not that Twilight, it's Twilight by Peter James. And it says from the best-selling author there of Dead Simple, I've read some Peter James, but not Peter James from that Dead series, you know, Dead Simple, Dead Tomorrow, Dead Yesterday. I, 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 you know, the very colourful spines, about 20 books with that Dead in the title. I've not read that series, um, but I've read around that series. Um, and I've most recently read Twilight by Peter James. Um, really, really disturbing, very much adult content, uh, very, very adult themes, and um, yeah, quite shocking. I've spoken to some friends and colleagues about this book, and all of them have agreed, no, that's too much for me, Mike. That's, that's, that's too dark, too gory, too real. It was published in March 1993, and it's set in Brighton, and it, it's often listed under medical terror, and that for me, it, it perfectly sums up the, the book in its themes and its nature and its uh, content and its tone and everything. Um, and that is so disturbing. I mean, my own experiences with hospital, it, it, this didn't take long to, to absolutely disturb me. And I know that for many readers, any any sort of hospital themes, uh, doctors, especially, especially um, these dark, twisted, doctors evil doctors um yeah so so scary uh, it features uh, a feisty heroine though there's a, there's a brilliant female lead uh, in this book uh, named kate um uh, kate hemingway a young reporter trying to prove herself and she has these hunches she has suspicions and she follows them and she receives knockback after knockback and she is absolutely taking on a cover-up a medical cover-up a scandal and she doesn't sleep until it's solved it's an evil medical plot, and at the, at the centre of that plot is Harvey Swire, a British anaesthetist who is abusing his, his position. And he has this obsession with, with uh, evidencing the afterlife. This book has some big themes of life and death, the body, um, spirituality, astral planes, all sorts. Um, yeah, but he, he is obsessed with proving that the afterlife exists, and he does this by plunging victims, patients, uh, into a, a death-like state and uh, sort of performing in a way, in a certain way that they'll remember. If they have had, as he has had, this outer body experience uh, during death, they that he will be able to prove that. He questions them when they come round. Um, for example, in one scene, he, he does sort of victory salutes behind uh, the surgeon and he, he hopes that the the victim has seen those victory salutes and he'd be able to question them about it after proving his theory. Yeah, really disturbing. I mean, Kate comes so close to death so many times in the book and um, her own as well as others. Um, it is so distressing at times. Uh, just to wrap up this review, some major moments. I mean, I, I'm not going to spoil anything because it does have to be read, I think. If, you, if, you, if, this is, if you're willing to take on this challenge of a medical sort of terror, thriller... Um, there's a scene where a, a body is exhumed and what they find um, when they dig that coffin out uh, will live with me forever. Uh, I won't say what it is. Um, I didn't see it coming and um, I ha it, you know, James gets you questioning, what could it be? What it, what's the worst? Your mind tries to think of the worst case scenario. My mind thought it thought of a worst case scenario. Uh, it didn't. That the worst case scenario is in the book and I didn't see it coming. And uh, yeah, again, I mentioned it to a colleague at work and they were like, Mike, you need to stop reading this book. And if you're going to continue, stop telling me about it because it was too much. Um, a very disturbing scene in that coffin um, that has to be read to be to be understood. There's a sort of cartoony villain heroine showdown at the end. Um, it was a little bit, uh, oh, what's the word? Not sort of naff, not sort of tacky, a little bit over the top. Um, hammy might be the word, overly theatrical almost. And the last lines of this book are chilling. The last scene feels like justice. I won't spoil it any further, but um, yeah, the last scene is, is a chilling uh, payoff, I would say. Anyway, that was Twilight by Peter James, one of the horrors that I've read this summer. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening. If you got this far, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, I hope it's earned your subscription. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you again soon for another book discussion. Take care, guys.